how are you? My name is Nicole Christine Olero. I'm a student at Sinyolo Girls High School and I'm in Form 4. I've been having issues of school fee areas since I've been coming back home for fee break continuously as other students are continuing with their academics back at school. These are really, this has really thwarted my performance from being better um, and I would like to achieve my goals by having better grades in my KCSE exams. I would like to join the university, Kenyatta University in Nairobi, but the situation is not encouraging. Anyone, I've, I'm having a big balance right now and anyone out there who may like to help me to clear my school fees, I will really appreciate. My parents are not able to pay my school fees and they have been having big challenge in paying my school fees. I'm living with my aunt who is also not stable. She doesn't have a job and I've been surviving with the bursaries. I will, I will really appreciate if anyone would help me to clear my school fees. May God bless you. Thank you. Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for choosing our show. When people went to on the streets to demonstrate, perhaps William Ruto thought that the only thing that took them to the streets was the finance bill 2023. But it is now turning out that there is more than meets the eye. In this video, I want to reveal to you what Gaduna Mushomba is saying about our Gen Z and the worst mistake, the terrible mistake that William Ruto has committed that this time round will not only return the Gen Z but the whole country will burn if William Ruto is not careful and if he does not change this, I can assure you that he's not going to survive it. That is it's going to be very hot. But before this, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present to you a young lady in Form 4. Her name is Christine. Christine is undergoing financial challenges and she's requesting for your support. She says she's been surviving on bursary, but this is not enough. She's got a balance of 47,000 Kenya shillings and she keeps on going home. She's sent home here now and then to get the balance. And this is really dangerous for her because at Form 4 we are in second term and she hardly gets enough time to concentrate on her studies. So she's come to you with a very humble plea if you are touched. Yes, if you feel touched, that is my MPSA number. Frederick Kuchinoko is the name. You can help. You can also visit the school and pay directly to the school account. I'm still coordinating if I can get the school account so that if you cannot send, you can send to the school account directly and maybe just inform me for purposes of accountability so that when we reach the maximum that she needs, then we, we stop this. I need to visit the school on Friday and I'm really counting on you. Please help that young girl. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a terrible mistake. And William Ruto is sitting on a time bomb. Gaduna Mushobe is summarizing this this way. That dear colleagues in the position of power by the people, what are Kenyans protesting about? It's not the finance bill only. They are openly opposed to the attitude we hold that we are the, rule, the rulers nawao ne rayas. It's the anger of house demolitions in the name of floods. It's about the opulence we show to them in our watches, belts, shoes, and homes. The pictures we show while on board helicopters and overseas, the cars we ride escorted by sirens against the, the traffic, the bloated bills we pay during our drinking outings, the names we call our critics, the oppressive laws we pass by force against 
their advisory and opinions. The fake fertilizer we sold to them, the poison sugar we make profits from at the expense of their wealth, the promises we give without keeping, the projects we promise without delivering, and the, the, and, and the tones we use while defending our own mess. Worst of all, we use church pulpits to affirm our loots. It's time to retract and reconcile. It's a new dawn. You will agree with me that if there is one person who has summarized why people went to the street, it is the only man standing in parliament, Gadoni Mushomba. She's been very consistent on this. She's never wavered. She has always rejected those punitive bills. Kindly subscribe to our channel if you're watching us for the first time. But ladies and gentlemen, amidst all the plea and the pieces of advice to William Samuel Ruto, he has committed the worst mistake. Because at some point he was winning this battle by trying to appeal to the Gen Z so that they could dialogue. But if you listen to this story that has been summarized by NTV, you will realize that William Ruto has shot himself in the foot. He does not care at all about what people are thinking about. Because Gen Z told him that you should uh, reduce the bloated cabinet, you should reduce corruption and wastage. But you cannot imagine what William Ruto has done. It is like a slap on the very face. Kindly listen. The explainer. Now, deep in the middle of public rage over new taxation measures, the Salaries and Remuneration Commission has announced salary increments for state officers, with members of parliament and cabinet secretaries among those that will now pocket millions of shillings in salaries and allowances. The government effecting the new salary scale from the 1st of July, disregarding the public anger on austerity measures. Here's Stephen Little with the details. Starting July 1st, that is yesterday, Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi's salary has been increased from the current salary of 957,000 shillings to a new scale of 990,000 shillings. This is on top of other allowances. President William Ruto's members of the cabinet will end of this month smile all the way to the bank to get their salary increase effected yesterday. They will now walk home with slightly below 1 million shillings on top of other allowances. President William Ruto's 51 principal secretaries have also been handed a smile this July as they go home with a pay increase now pocketing 819,844 shillings per month. Speaker of the National Assembly Moses Wetangula will return to his chair from recess to a hefty pack. From 1.1 million shillings, his salary now steps up to 1.2 million shillings. The same increase has been effected to Senate Speaker Emerson Jeffa Kingi. Majority and minority leaders have not been left out. They have also been handed a salary increment in a circular published at the Kenya Gazette. In a sheer doublespeak, all the 349 members of the National Assembly, as well as 67 senators other than their allowances, their salaries have been increased from 725,402 shillings to 739,600 shillings every month. The salary increments that now looks an egg in the face of the protesters has also been extended to the security bosses. Inspector General of Police Japheth Kome has had his salary increased yesterday from 792,519 shillings to 819,844 shillings per month. Other security heads will smile all the way to the bank, include the Director of National Intelligence Service, Norin Haji, Director of Criminal Investigations, DCI, and their deputies. The Lin Mengich-led SRC has also increased salaries for the 47 county governors and their deputies. Huge salaries and allowances 
from state and public officers have been identified as a contributing factor to the country's wage bill that has hit more than one trillion shillings. With the protests rocking several parts of the country, any attempts to increase or even think of increasing salaries for members of parliament or even members of the executive could only worsen an already bad situation. This even as protesters move to the streets seeking a radical surgery into their salaries and payslips of the civil servants and members of the executive. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV. Does William Ruto really take his subjects very seriously? The people he rules. In this whole saga, where government officials are added salary, the first question I want to ask you, what has the common monarchy been added? You and I, what have you been added? When people like the Prime Minister, Cabinet Secretaries, Government, uh, the, 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 uh, the CJ, the IG, I mean, all of them have been given something. What about you, the common man? What about the people who live in slums? To them, they are told that we have affordable housing and we want to create jobs. And this is why I'm telling you that William Ruto does not listen. You know, people are very right. When Gen Z were invited for a dialogue, William Ruto wanted things to cool down. I don't know how they are going to receive this message. That in the midst of their pressure to William Ruto to resign, or to reduce the corruption and wastage, William Ruto went ahead and added all these salaries. And you know, you are about to tell me that this is a prerogative of the Salaries and Remuneration Commission. Don't be fooled. Do not be fooled. The reason why people are being pushed to accept the Finance Bill 2023 was this one. It was to add all these people's salaries at the expense at the against the chagrin of crying Kenyans who do not know what to do. There are people who cannot afford even one meal in a day. And then you tell us that you want to add the already privileged members of the society. You want to add them salaries. Not only that, other allowances you want to give them. This is what I'm telling you that William Root is not serious. And let me tell you something. It is not bad when these people are given some money. But what is the priority? Is it a priority now that these government officials are added something? It is not a priority. The timing is ill. You know, people are on the streets fighting that they are complaining that the taxes are high, yet you have the audacity to inform them that government officials who already have salaries are being maintained by taxpayers' money very exorbitantly, are added salary. This is very wrong. Let me ask you, do you believe that we still have a country? You mean, I mean, in, in the midst of all the complaints, the country's, the country's in flames, people are complaining about the exorbitant kind of life that all these people are living. They are buying expensive watches. They are driving the latest sport cars. And Kenyans are crying fall. Then you still tell us that you want to add them salaries. And this, this started, by the way, yesterday. So all these cries and complaints have fallen on deaf ears. And let me ask you, this is the time that we are going to realize that there are only two tribes in Kenya. The haves and the have-nots. This is the time when Kimani Chungwa and Opio and I are going to be together. They are not going to reject the salary increment. Yes, they have been telling us that they are fighting. Now it has knocked at, at, their, at their doorsteps. I want to see whether the, the members of the, of the opposition are going to reject this salary increment. And this is the time we are going to see that Kenyans, we are on our own. I want to see them making the same noise they've been making. And this is why I'm telling you that William Ruto cannot survive this. People are going to the streets because this is the worst mistake that he has ever committed. You cannot do this now. If William Ruto never wanted this, in fact, I want to see any member 
from the cabinet who is going to say no hatutaki kama mnajali wa Kenya if you really feel their pain their predicaments the kind of life that they live gadoni has summarized it all and this is a warning if william ruto goes against it i don't know and i know this is going to be a setup we want to see those who have been making noise the opposition i want to see how they are going to go through this and survive because we are now watching them